Hello and welcome to another day at NG's Tech. In this video, I'm going to repair this microwave. It has a problem that the backlight uh, is gone. So you can't see anything. For instance, if I turn it now, if I turn it on now, so as you can see, there is no light inside. I'll open it just to prevent the damage. Now let's get started. Okay, so this is the microwave at the beginning and always working with any electrical equipment power off the switch so i power off the switch and for this video i will be using these two tools um one tool actually one tool and one component so the tool is my um a screwdriver and the component is a 15 watt 15 watt uh, microwave lamp now let's get started I haven't done it before this is my first time so my concept is that if i can do it you can do it too now uh, i believe the bulb itself comes from so the light comes from this side so the bulb should be located inside here so now let's get started i will get my philip screwdriver and keep opening one by one screw the one thing I have to keep in mind that uh, there are transformers inside that transformers sometimes keep live power even after disconnecting the main. So always be careful, don't touch anything unless it, unless it is really necessary. Also use testing equipment to, to measure if there is a residue electronics, elect, residue electricity inside it. Sometimes this is small job, it is matter because uh, this bulb has been gone for quite a while and it was creating uh, quite a bit of nuisance basically because you can't see uh, when the food is warm. Uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes like uh, it's in boiling point. So if you don't turn it, turn it off at proper time, um, it, it gets ruined all the time. So it basically uh, adds some extra measure in your whole life. We've got enough to leave on, so now see if it's open. No, it's not opening because there is another screw this side. I have never opened a microwave before, but I'm pretty confident that it's not a, it's not a big job. Uh, anyone can do it with basic tools. As you can see, this is my basic tools. I believe there is another screw this side. No, there is no screw that side. Now let's get it off. Hmm. Not sure actually. Not too sure. I'm not too sure. This side okay. okay. Now it has been opened now. As you can see, so this is this has been taken from the top, and uh, I'll move it. Okay, so it's pretty straightforward. As you can see, these are all transformers. So my request is never ever touch this this part. This is always very dangerous. This is high voltage. Um, this is high voltage uh, transformer. So there are there are high voltage current inside. So uh, also the inductor uh, don't touch any of the electronics. So basically for this job and to change the bulb now um, just take it off and put back the new one. Okay, so as you can see, this is the bulb part, but it seems like that uh, I've got a wrong kind of bulb. I don't have this one. I, I bought this screw type one because as I said you before that, I haven't opened a microwave before. Now, okay, so nothing is happening. Nothing will be happening now. I need to order a new bulb and get it fitted. Hello guys and welcome back again after two days later. I just ordered the parts over online and I have received it. So this is my part. So let's open it. Hopefully this time I will be lucky. So okay. So this is the part and it looks like that it's just the exact part. And most importantly, see the power rating. Hopefully you can see the power rating. Uh, the power rating is 240 volt. 240 volt 25 watt. 
So this was the same power rating written on the existing uh, holder and the light. So this time, this is just a matter of the fact that I will open it again. So this will give you some more idea how to open it. Um, it it's not it, it's super easy, but obviously if you see something, then you are more confident. So now let's get started. So power off the microwave. Turn it back. See the screws uh, roughly, then just open it. When you hold the screwdriver, make sure you hold it efficiently. I've been taught the most efficient way of holding a screwdriver. So you point it, the Philips screwdriver, then you push it from the back. So you push it from the back and you hold it here as well. So this will give you more torque. These are the small steps of uh, working as a field engineer, but obviously um, as you as you come along, you learn more things and you make your job more easy. It's been so long that we've been left without a working light inside the microwave and it was, it, 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 is, it is just a horrible experience. You can see the food inside your boiling. So if they're boiling, you can see them, you can tell them uh, and uh, it popped up it can spread all over which is not nice now i will take the chassis off and as always never touch never ever touch the transformer or anything unless you really need to be and be careful these are high voltage transformer uh, they work as a capacitor like kind of thingy they keep the charge and you can potentially get high voltage uh, shock now we take the enclosure off so this is our microwave bulb enclosure see rightly so this enclosure will take off let me zoom it properly right so this is the thingy and only holding one screw so this one screw is holding the whole enclosure but before i take it off let me let me just pop the existing connection off so let, let me disconnect this If you have to hold this conical shape thingy, I'm just trying to find a way. I'm just trying to find an efficient way of doing so. Yeah. So I need to mark which one is what. So if it goes like this, I think it is bi-directional, like it's really not matter that which way you put it, but even so. I just I just put away even so I just connect it as I'm disconnected so there are two cables so this one is left this one is right so I will connect it here straight so that there are little possibility of doing any mistake whatsoever on the second one and putting back again right so it is facing all the angles i don't need any extra bit of tools to detect which one is plus and minus now if we can just keep it like this and if we can power it on see if it is working we will turn it on only for a few seconds because remember these are uh, really high temperature bulb they create a bit of temperature they can burn things off so now let's plug it okay when i'm testing anything it is it is fully flat now as you can see it is flat now now let me turn it on as you can see it is working now we turn it off 
briefly before i'm closing i just want to go through the recap uh, as uh, just for some introduction uh, the inside electronics uh, i don't know clearly 100 percent myself because i haven't explored it so basically these are the control board these are the control board these are the transformer this is the fan for uh, keeping the electronics cool and this one is that this one is the microwave element which uh, which job is to mainly produce the microwave which cook your food now let me put it back again disconnecting the power supply and take this enclosure off enclosure off just disconnect by hand this two clip so it will come off as easily Let's take, take the old one off put the new one back in no problem at all very easy if i can do this you can do this i don't have much experience i work as a field engineer i have experience in other things but this is is the second time i have opened any microwave whatsoever it's not a difficult job Right, so just let me check how the internal electronics is touching hold me. never ever work on any live electronics this is the most dangerous thing you can do and always take pictures always take plenty of pictures Yeah, so basically it's not touching anything we turn the power off putting back our enclosure again This little thing is matter because you know that <clears throat> if you call someone for this little job it will cost you it will cost you a fortune and you get some real sense of accomplishment when you do something on your own there are always possibilities that you can you can break things but that's not the end of life is it And when you screw things back, so for the first instance, never ever tie things 100%. Just keep it, just keep it so that it can hold the frame. The reason behind is this, because these are sheet metals and sheet metals, they bend. So you got the flexibility. If you don't tighten it 100%, tighten it fully, have the flexibility of moving things. But once it is tight, once it is tight properly, you can't you can't move the flexible body you got the word you can say you lose the flexibility Only one left, 
on this side it looked like it just dropped you can always lose some screws so I have to I have to lose them back again just to move the body a bit let's see if this guy can accommodate inside it's just a little bit misplaced at the moment So I loosen things up. This body needs to go a little bit more inside. I'll tap it. Hopefully now I will have a working microwave with a filament bulb inside and yeah I can I will be able to see things when turning it on. Voila, that's it. You can see inside I can kind of do some more cleaning so that the light quality is better. That's all for today. If you like this video, let me know what you think about this. That will give me more inspiration making more. Thanks till next time. Cheers.